So, you know, you've bought a book recently. Um, what was it called? What was it called? The book that you yeah, spent. Tell us about it's it. got a long title, man. Um, but it's something to do with Juju Mara Juju. Yeah, yeah. So this book was written by Emery Van Donsel, Donsel and Andrea Schmidt, hmm. who attempt to follow the journey of Salam Al Tarjumani, who was Salam the interpreter from I think it's the ninth century actually. Hmm. On the it was the uh, how much you spend on this Khalif book? One hundred and nine pound. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've been wanting this. I've been wanting it since twenty fourteen. Why is the book so expensive? It's, it's almost like you use Madrid priced it themselves. It's published by Bro. <laughs> it's yeah. published by Bro. Okay. All their books are expensive because they're very academic, limited print runs. Da, 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 okay. Da. Right. So I, I still don't think it should be that expensive. Mm. But Allah Huwala, But recap, recap very quickly what this book's about. So this book's. A, have you read it? Have you finished it? No, I haven't even started it. Okay. To be honest mm. with you, but I've read bits of it online. Uh -huh. Yeah. And that's why I wanted to get this book. I've got a PDF, but yeah. I'm not the kind of guy who reads PDFs. So I prefer to have a real book mm. in my hands. Yeah? yeah, so I can scribble in the margins, mm. highlight certain bits with different highlight or color pens. Mm. But long story short, um, this book attempts to follow the journey of Salam al Tajumani, who was tasked with finding the barrier of Zulkarnain against the Gog and Magog, by one of um, the Abbasid Khalif. Yeah, al Khalif al Watik. Yeah, Allah, yeah. yeah. Um, and he left with a, a group of men that had a big budget to go and go across different different countries to, in, in, in the attempt to locate this barrier. This journey, this adventure, this epic adventure to locate the barrier resulted in him thinking he found it. Yeah. And what Schmidt and Donzel do is they go through his story mainly from the accounts of Ibn Qurdabi and some others, right? And try to locate these places that he's described with actual places on the world map, sure. right? To one being Central Asia, you said. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, the, and in fact, all the barriers are in that region of Central Asia. So all the barriers that have been mentioned in this book and in other books as well are in that region. So you know there are some crazy theories out there about where Yajuj Majuj are, but they all generally point to the same geographical region. space or region. Yeah, okay. um, and you know what I find fascinating is when you open this book. You know, books usually dedicated to someone, right? Mm -hmm. Books usually dedicated. This book is dedicated to the unjustly enclosed. Oh bloody hell! The and unjustly enclosed. So whenever we read about Yajuj Majuj, we're reading from a Christian, Judaic, or Islamic point of view. Now I'm reading it from the opposite. A pro-Yajuj pro Majuj point of view. And I find that fascinating. 